Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, do you know someone with cancer who's, you know, or just someone that's at high risk for cancer and they always wanted to know, you know, what can I do to prevent cancer and if I have cancer to treat cancer? If that sounds like something you're interested in, you've come to the right video. Hi, I'm Dr. Hampton. And as you know, I'm on a mission to help you achieve metabolic health. And today I have Dr. Paul Merrick with me, and he is a pioneer in medical research, a uh, former professor, and he's actually the second most published critical care specialist in the world. His latest work is why I decided to make this video short. He did an extensive review of the evidence of the use of repurposed medications in treating cancer, and of course, uh, all the different types of supplements that help us uh, treat cancer. So it's evidence-based. And Dr. Merrick and his team were fortunate enough for us to put a, together a monograph. I'll have a link to that in the notes. And, and I just thought we would want to focus on this one area, the top, the top five things you can do to prevent cancer, and maybe the top 10 if you are dealing with cancer. And uh, so what I'll do to make this a little easier for you is that I'll share my screen and uh, by doing that, we'll be able to uh, get a feel for, um, you know, what is it that you need to know to be successful when it comes to uh, cancer. So let's go ahead and put that in front of us. And Doc, uh, I really appreciate all you are doing with your team. Let's walk through what people need to know about the evidence as it relates to preventing cancer. Let's start with this first slide. Yeah, so thanks firstly for having me on, it's a, it's a privilege. And so what I need to say is that there's overwhelming medical data to support the fact that um, cancer is largely a preventable disease. And by instituting very simple um, measures, people can significantly reduce the risk of developing cancer. So the first thing obviously is treatment of insulin resistance and metabolic health. There's no question that insulin resistance underlies 40 to 60% of cancers. Wow. And then there's overwhelming data. So it's not just subtle data that vitamin D deficiency is, leads to cancer. It's, it's absolutely well established. There's absolutely no controversy. There was a paper published in New England Journal in 2002, strongly making the point that vitamin D deficiency is associated with cancer, and that supplementing with vitamin D3, it's very simple, reduces your risk of cancer. And then there are some other simple interventions which have been proven over and over again in the medical literature. Omega-3 fatty acids, green tea ketogens, so that's green tea, and then melatonin. And then for those that are even at a higher risk, you know, maybe these that have previous history, strong family history, we would recommend metformin. So these are very simple interventions according to your perceived risk of cancer that people can do. But at a minimum, people should take vitamin D3, omega-3 fatty acids, and do some exercise. And those three together with metabolic control will significantly reduce your risk of getting cancer. And it's such a simple intervention, and um, I think all of us can benefit. And as I go to the next slide, for those who are checking out this video short, we, we did an episode of the Protecting Your Nest podcast where we went through all of the slides. And I just wanted to touch on the ones that deal with, uh, you know, dealing with prevention and uh, cancer, cancer treatment. So let's touch a little bit on the interventions, the top 10. You already mentioned one, which is the low-carb, high-fat diet. Yeah, so <clears throat> probably the most important is the low-carb, high-fat ketogenic diet because cancer cells need glucose. That's what they thrive. And so basically you are starving cancer cells with a ketogenic diet. Um, it, it's well known. And then next is green tea, melatonin, vitamin D. We see the same suspects again. That's so right. if it's going to be useful for preventing cancer, you can, God be damn sure, it's going to be useful for treating cancer. The doses are just a little bit higher. And then, you know, we have metformin again, curcumin, which is a truly astonishing compound. It has 
multiple modes of action. Mabendazole, which is a prescription medicine, but, over, but again, it's a repurposed drug. You know, it acts both on glucose and glutamine metabolism, but it's an antiparasitic, and it's quite interesting that drugs which kill parasites seem to be able to kill cancer cells. Mm. Again, we have omega-3 fatty acids, berberine, and then exercise. You know, I think people underestimate the benefits of exercise, particularly going for a walk outdoors in the sunshine. There's nothing actually more health-promoting than a bit of exercise and some sunshine. Yeah, I love all of these. And I really believe that um, having people... Uh, you know, giving people a path to do something they can do themselves, which is why I love your monograph, which we'll share in a link, uh, which will have all the slides that we're going to share on the Protecting Your Nest podcast. But I really appreciate it because even as a clinician, we need tools to help us help our patients. And we're too busy, uh, you know, with 15 minute appointments to uh, really do a good job. So I think it's important that everybody own their own destiny to the extent they can. And guess, guess what? If you do that, you're probably going to be educating your doctor uh, you know, as well because doctors are not trained. They may look at the studies on uh, metformin, but they're not going to look at the studies on berberine. You know, they just don't do the nutritional thing. So thank you so much, Doc, for uh, being in this short video. Thank you so much for being part of the Protecting Your Nest podcast. And for those who joined us today, I hope this added value to you. Share this with friends and family. And until the next video, continue to be safe, be well, and continue to protect your nest.